this uh, XB Falcon. Uh, John Goss Special, I've had it for roughly eight years, I've had it done up for the last three years, and you don't want to know how much I spent on it because that's something we won't talk about. When I got it, it still had original paint, everything on it was original. It had been sitting in the shed for the last 20 years. Previous to that, it had been stolen by somebody and still had the uh, police powder all over where they get the fingerprints from. I've done a complete resto, taken it back to bare metal, uh, new motor, new gearbox, new diff, everything's brand new. Just look at it, I mean, what's not to love about it? You know, beautiful car, great history. They're just an iconic Aussie car and I just love them. It was after John Goss won Bathurst, this was Ford's way of saying, good job John. There's only 800 of them made, either with the green or the blue, 400 in one batch, 400 in another batch roughly equal numbers of the green and the blue. They got the white interior. This one's got the green inlay that was done at the Ford dealer where it came from. Not the factory, but the Ford dealer put the green into the seats. This is my wife's car. Um, she loves this one. Having a car like this, you meet a lot of like-minded people. It's surprising how many people have got them, how many people love them. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's Ford or Holden, they're all good, everyone puts a lot of effort into their cars, everybody loves it. Yeah, they're just a great bunch of people to be around and have good times. When these came out, as much as they look very nice and whatnot, they didn't even come out standard with the radio in them. It came out with what they call a 302 motor. I've beefed it up to a 351 motor, put a stronger gearbox in it, put a stronger diff in it. And the car has been signed by John Goss himself. We had a function on the Gold Coast a few years ago and yeah, I'm very proud that he got to sign it. That's an added bonus, I reckon, for the car, yeah, to be signed by the man that raised him and made him famous.